uh, can someone please say something? I am not able to hear your voice. Yes, sir. Someone other than right. So, uh, okay, I'm going to check the chats. Ah, uh, I, I am able. I'm not able to hear you. So, can please someone please uh, say something? I'm not able to hear your voice. I want to confirm whether that is a problem uh, my side or something else is the something else is wrong. Your voice is not coming to me. Okay, all right. So maybe uh, I'm not able to hear you. Can someone please confirm? I mean, can someone please say something? I want to uh, know whether it's problem from my end or something else. I'm able to hear you. Uh, Yes. Someone has raised. All right. So I don't know whether something uh, is wrong with you. So I'll just keep on speaking. If you have a problem, raise your hands. No, no. I am audible. I know. I want to know whether you are audible to me or not. If if you ask something, then I will not be able to listen. Right. I know you. I am audible to you, but I just want to confirm whether you are audible to me or not. Because I am not able to hear anything that you are saying. I, I don't know whether you are saying something or not. That is why I am trying to confirm. I am trying to. I am asking you to say something, speak up something, so that I know whether my uh, earphones are working properly or not. All right. If you must, I mean, in the in the middle of uh, when I am uh, uh, doing something, I am writing something. In the middle of that, I may not check messages. If, Anyway, I will check the messages uh, frequently so that there is a problem we'll figure it out. Anyway, so yeah, I'll share my screen. All right. So, okay. Before starting anything again, as always. So this is this course is NPTEL course. Its name is Basic. Electrical circuits. And uh, the structure for this course is sir, Gajendranath Chaudhary. He is from IIT Hyderabad. He is a faculty member there in the Department of Electrical Engineering. Oh, I am. Uh, my name is Mayank Kanpam. I am a tutor for this course. My name is Mayank Kanpam. Uh, 
and uh, so I am currently uh, enrolled in a PhD program in electrical engineering at IIT Kanpur. All right, so so quick recap now. Uh, in this, in the today we'll be discussing week seven's content. Okay, so right week seven, right? Yeah, week seven's content. So what all did we learn in week seven? So quick reca recap of that. Huh. So what all did we saw in week seven? All right, so what did we see in week seven? We saw about uh, so last week we uh, saw, uh, I mean, we were just introduced to the uh, notion of two port parameters, right? And we saw what parameters y parameter and only y parameter, right? So this week we saw z parameters. Okay. So z we saw h parameters we saw g parameters right all these three parameters we saw these three parameters after that we also saw reciprocity right reciprocity for uh, I mean, we saw reciprocity in general, right? And we saw that in a reciprocal network, what is the uh, and what uh, what is the relationship between the two port parameters? So it's generally, I mean, in in a reciprocal system, the two port parameters are for z and y, they are symmetric, right? They are symmetric. The two port parameters uh, z1 z1 2 is equal to for reciprocal network z1 2 is equal to z21. Similarly, y1 2 is equal to y21. Correct. H12 is equal to minus H21 and uh, what? G12 is equal to minus G21. Correct. We saw this reciprocal networks. We saw reciprocity uh, holds for resistive networks, right? For a, a system which has controlled sources in it, reciprocity might not be valid. Okay. I mean, it uh, for resi for a resist purely resistive network, reciprocity is always valid. Okay, for for a network which contains only resistors, it will always be reciprocal. However, if a system if a network has uh, some control sources in it, then we cannot comment directly. We cannot make a general general statement after that. A uh, network which contains control sources can be uh, reciprocal, or it cannot. It may not be. It may be also. We, we cannot say just like that. We have to look at the network. Okay. All right. We saw reciprocity bottles. So this these two were the main uh, main things. Two main things which were covered in the week, right? We saw a whole lot of things on these. All right. So today we'll be uh, solving some questions based on these concepts. All right. I hope this is visible. Okay. So this is a network. Okay. This is a network that has been given to you. Simple network. We want to find out the Z parameters between port one and I mean, so this is port one, right? This is port two. We want to find out the Z parameters here. How will we do it? So let's say it it can be represented as a two port network like this sorry so let's say this is a two port network okay this is one this is one prime this is two this is two prime okay and let's say the matrix which describes this network is z11 z12 z2 
one and z2 two, two. so we want to find out this matrix okay so what should i do for z parameters we know that the relationship uh, so for z parameters what is the relationship it is actually v1 is equal to i1 times z11 plus i2 times z22 correct and v2 is equal to what i2 times z12 so z21 this is actually z12 plus i2 times z22 right the independent variable is i1 and i2 so basically this is this way right that uh, we have v1 and v2 these are actually equal to z11 z12 z21 z22 times i1 and i2 so i1 and i2 are the two independent variables here and this uh, v1 and v2 are the uh, are the things that you are going to observe because of the application of these independent sources okay so in order to find out the different z parameters here z11 z12 z22 and z12 z21 what do we have to do so this is the network right so what do how do you find z z11 what is z11 equal to v1 upon i1 when i2 equal to 0 right when i2 is equal to 0 then what is the value of v1 by i1 that is called z11 so how do you do it you have to apply a current source here right you have to find out what is the voltage here v1 okay this is i1 and what do you need to do here i2 has to be made equal to 0 right so you have to open circuit these two terminals right connect nothing in between you just open circuit so that this current i2 sorry i2 will be in this direction is equal to 0 okay fine so uh, what will it be when you open circuit this net uh, this this guy here what is the overall resistance here z a plus z a b the overall resistance here will be z a plus z z a b right what is i mean what is the b1 by i1 it is the simply the total resistance that we see looking into this network right because this network was anyway zero so the total resistance looking here will be z a plus z a b right so this is actually z11 z a plus z a b now we as well uh, so now uh, again what is z21 what is z21 this is v2 upon i this is v2 upon i1 when well. i2 is 0 right again the same thing you just have to open circuit this network here it's just open circuit right now and you have to find out what is the voltage v2 that is appearing here okay this node voltage v2 you have to find out when the current is applied here so what will it be v2 here because of this current i1 yes it will be z a b divided by z a plus z a b right sorry it will not be that i mean it will be z a b times it will equal to z a b times i1 right that is a uh, that is a voltage v2 that will be appearing here correct so again this this is equal to z a b right so we got z1 and z21 now let's find out what is the value of uh, so Now let's find out what is the value of z12. z12 is equal to what? v1 upon i2 when i1 equal to 0. So it is basically the uh, same thing but done now in, done in opposite manner. So now uh, uh, rather than connecting it here, it 
we connect it here the same current now this is i2 okay and this is v2 this is v1 now we are just keeping it as open okay so the current i1 is equal to 0 now tell me what is z1 to v1 upon i2 so this is v1 upon i2 what will it be same thing right zab clearly seen right you see this current here it goes and flows here the voltage it will generate here will be the same as the voltage it will uh, that will appear here so what is this voltage zab multiplied by i2 so this is also Z, zab and now what is z22 it's equal to v2 upon i2 when i1 equal to 0 so it's simply this voltage here correct So what will that be? This voltage here. This will be ZB plus ZAB, right? This will be ZB plus ZAB. So this will be ZB plus ZAB. So now we have all the four parameters, right? Z11, Z12, Z21, Z22. So now we can write the matrix here. Our two port matrix will look something like this. So this is ZA plus ZAB. This is ZAB. This is ZAB and uh, this is ZB plus ZAB. Correct. This is our Z parameters matrix. Okay. Now you can again see that this is a symmetric matrix, right? You see this entry here and this entry here are equal. So this is a purely uh, a, a network which contains only impedances, right? No control sources. So that is why this is symmetric. In general, and, and if it is symmetric, that means it is reciprocal, right? So in general, a, a network which contains only impedances, okay, and not any control sources, it will always be a reciprocal network, which means that it's Z matrix, Y matrix, with both be symmetric. Okay, so in this case, you can easily invert it to find out uh, y parameters also. That's also possible. So that is an exercise which you can do uh, do for yourself. Let's move on. By the way, any any doubt in the first question? Sir, can you repeat it once again? I'm not able to hear you properly, so maybe you will you can message it if you have any doubt. All right. Moving on to the second part. Second question. So here we need to find out what are the y parameters. So you see, I guess something like this was already covered in the in the this thing in the lectures also. So in general, you can be given any network. Okay, I mean you do not know. Pardon me. So uh, in general, you might not know what is there in this network. Okay, but if you are if you are told if you are given the Terminal characteristics. So, what does y parameter represent? What do y? What does y parameter represent? It represents the relationship between the terminal, uh, this terminal voltages and currents, right, of the network. So, as long as you have that, you do not need to worry about what is there inside the network. So, if you are given a y parameter, uh, if you are given the y parameters of a two-port network, that's good enough to understand everything about the network. If you do not want to go inside that. If you are only concerned about the terminal characteristic of that network, okay, that is the relationship between the terminal voltages and terminal currents, then you only need the Y parameters here, okay, fine. So now that you are given these Y parameters, can you find out what are the Y parameters of the overall network? So this overall network, it can be, sorry, it can be presented like this, right? Uh, uh, what do I need to tell once a bear? So you told uh, you asked me something uh, to, to, tell first some, one. to tell something. So what do what do you want me to repeat? So first two ones. First one. Uh, the first problem do you want me to repeat?
Okay. All right. Oh, uh, could you please hold on for a minute? I will quickly get out of the meeting and then, uh, then I can join. Maybe then I will be able to hear you properly. Okay. I Uh, now can you speak up please can someone please speak yes sir can so are you speak up? here no luck sir are you able to hear looks like i'm not yeah no luck I'm not able to hear anything from what you're saying yeah abhay could you please speak again Sir, are you able to hear? No luck. Not able to hear anything. Anyway, fine. It's okay. We'll talk on the messages only. Yeah. So yeah, the first question I will again explain. Okay. This is the first question. You see, in the first question, I had to. I wanted to find out the y, uh, the z parameters of this network. Okay. The network is this. Yeah, the network was only this. Okay, the network was only this, and I want to find out the z parameters of this network. So this network here, okay, it can be represented like this, right? The port ports are one and one prime, two and two prime, right? Only two port network. So I can represent it like this also. Now I do. I want to find out the different. Uh, 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 the z parameters means these uh, this matrix. I want to find out, right? So I want to find out what is Z11, Z12, Z21, and Z22. Correct? So what will I do to find it out? So I know the relationship. What is the relationship here for Z parameters? The terminal voltages and terminal currents. I know what is the relationship. It is actually uh, Z11 times I1 plus I2 times Z12. This is voltage V1. Similarly, voltage V2 is like this. Correct? I hope this is this is known to you. This is clear to you. Fine. Now with this information, now if I want to find out what is Z11, what is this Z11? The Z11 is this, right? V1 upon I1 when I2 equal to zero, isn't it? If I2 is turned to zero here, then V1 upon I1 that ratio will be Z11, isn't it? So this is what I have written here, Z11 here. So how will I do that? I2 for I2 to become zero, what should I do? I have to open circuit this, right? I have to open circuit this. I cannot anything. I cannot connect anything in here. So this is I two, this is I one, correct. And uh, what will I do? I will connect a current source here. This is the sorry. This is the voltage V one, and this is voltage V two, correct. Ah. So now with this situation here, tell me what will be this. This current is zero, right? This current is zero. So tell me what is uh, V1 upon I1 here? It is actually Z A plus Z A B, right? So similarly, you can find out. So that is why it is Z A plus Z A B. Similarly, you can find out all the other uh, parameters. So is that clear? Okay. Okay, fine. So I I will be proceeding now with the second question. So by the way, I just wanted you to uh, appreciate the fact that in this case, Z parameters here. You see, this is a symmetric matrix, isn't it? You see the off diagonal uh, elements; they are same, correct? And the diagonal across its diagonal, this matrix is symmetric. So in general, if uh, if you have a system, if you have a network which contains only uh, the impedances, okay, only impedances. So in that case, if it doesn't contain any control sources, in that case the network will be reciprocal. And what does a reciprocal uh, network's matrix look like? It is symmetric, right? The Z matrix is symmetric. 
okay moving on yeah so second question i want to find out the y parameters of this network so yeah so let's do this so okay the whole network here it can be compressed in this manner the whole network here between these terminals I, 1 and 2 what do i need to do i need to do this so this is terminal 1 this is terminal 2 1 prime and for the second port i have terminal 2 and 2 prime 2 and 2 prime okay and uh, i want to find out the overall y parameters of this network right i want to find out what is y11 y12 y21 and y22 so how will i do that so this is i know the uh, y parameters of this network which is inside here and i know what is this one ohm resistor so i know this too. from this i have to uh, come to the overall network's y parameters so how will i do that okay so that is let's look at it so this is a so i know the y parameter of this is what 5 3 1 2 correct and uh, okay this is a resistor here it's only one ohm resistor okay now so let's name uh, so let's call this point as one and one prime so this is one and one prime right so let's call this 1x and 1x prime let's call this 2x and 2x prime this is 2 and 2 prime okay so uh, these terminals let's call okay so let's call the voltages here as equal to maybe this is v1 and v1 prime this is v2 and v2 prime no sorry this voltage let's call it v1 prime this call voltage let's call it v2 prime the outside of this at this point here okay at this point here this voltage is v1 and this voltage here is what v2 let's call it like that okay again uh, this quantity here i1 let's call it i this let's call it i2 prime this is i1 prime okay similarly this is v1 let's call this i i1 okay let's call it i2 okay so 2x was only a number okay just ignore it is not 2x is not two times it is just a number so i i've removed that that might simply create confusion that notation but this is this notation clear so at this uh, this point here and this point here this is where i want to find the overall this is the overall network right for that i want to find out the uh, y parameters right so how do i find out the y parameters i know that i just have to connect two voltages two voltage sources right what is the y parameter relationship so it is actually equal to v1 equal to sorry i1 equal to v1 times uh, y11 plus v2 times y12 only i2 equals v1 uh, v1 times y y21 plus 
v2 times y22 this is the uh, this is what this is the this is the y parameter relationship right you know that so this is uh, this is what i have written here for this network i have i have applied a so in in, in this case the independent voltage is what the independent voltage source is what in this in independent source is what v1 and v2 correct and based on this independent source what is the value of uh, the current that is entering these currents are calculated these currents will be dependent upon the value of the voltage source these voltage source are independent variables in this particular uh, formulation in this particular y parameter so this is the independent variable v1 and v2 and i1 and i2 are the dependent variables okay fine so from here can we calculate what are the uh, y parameters of the overall network so let's look at it so so tell me what is uh, i1 here okay so what is uh, y11 here let's go one by one so what is y11 y11 is i1 upon v1 when v2 equals 0 right when v2 equals 0 that is uh, the ratio i1 by v1 is y11 right so let's do that let's make v2 go to 0 so this guy uh, when it goes to 0 it means that it is shorted right it is simply shorted here so it's simply shorted okay now what is uh, if it is shorted what is i1 in that case this current i1 what is it what is this current i1 it's actually equal to i1 prime plus this i1 prime right plus whatever current is going here so what is the current that is going to go here this node voltage is v1 correct and please uh, notice that this node voltage v1 is actually equal to v1 prime isn't it v1 and v1 prime are same correct because they are the voltage across the same terminals correct so i1 prime is what v1 minus this this voltage right but this voltage is shorted so what is uh, this this is actually shorted right so what is this voltage here it's actually zero right is that clear is that clear okay i mean it is it, uh, it is shorted here so this voltage is zero right so v1 minus whatever this voltage this voltage i don't know so this is just zero v1 by 1 correct all right this is y11 so but i do not know what is uh, i1 prime right i do not know what is i1 prime in terms of v1 so let's uh, calculate that also so i know the internal characteristic of this network this this y parameter of this network so for this smaller network what is the y parameter relationship here so in this case i1 prime is equal to what 5 times v1 prime plus 3 times v2 prime so only i2 prime is equal to what 1 times v1 prime plus 2 times v2 prime we have this uh, relationship for uh, the smaller network so from here can we find out what is uh, uh, what is this i1 prime in terms of v1 yes we can right see in this case v2 prime is shorted right v2 prime is equal to 0 correct the voltage across these two terminals is equal actually equal to 0 so that is why i1 prime will actually be equal to 5 times v1 prime right so it will actually 5 times v1 prime plus v1 but we know that v1 prime and v1 are the same right here so this is actually equal to 6 times v1 prime right so what do we have here so we have what y11 equal to i1 upon v1 when v2 equal to 0 so what is i1 6 times v1 okay divided by v1 so this is equal to 6 6 what 6 Siemens 
okay all right so this is clear now what is y12 or maybe what is y21 y21 is what i2 upon v1 when v2 equal to 0 correct isn't it so what will it be again what is i2 what is i2 here you see i2 here is what i2 prime plus whatever is going here so i2 is equal to i2 prime plus what is what what, what is going here Come on, what is going here? And what is going here in this direction is actually equal to minus v1 upon 1, right? The same, this this is the current v1 upon 1 ampere, but we have taken it in a positive direction, so that is why I added a minus sign here, right? So now this is equal to how much? So uh, now what is i2 prime? What is i2 prime? I cannot uh, calculate it. I have to find i2 prime in terms of v1, right? So what will i2 prime be? Again, coming from here, you see i2 prime is equal to 1 times v1 prime and v1 prime is nothing but v1 so this is actually equal to 1 times v1 minus 1 times v1 this is actually equal to 0 right so i2 equal to 0 so what is y21 it's actually equal to i2 upon v1 when v2 is equal to 0 so but this is actually equal to 0 upon v1 it's equal to 0 right so y21 is 0 only was, similarly you can find out what is y2 uh, what is y12 so what is y12 it's actually equal to i1 upon v2 when v1 equal to 0 so you have to apply a voltage at the second terminal second port okay this is uh, now not shorted but this is shorted so now you have to short this guy here but uh, you have to apply a voltage here This is V2, right? And you have to find out what is I1. What is the current I1 that is going to enter here? Right? What is the current I1 that is going to enter here? So this you can do, right? So what is the current that is going to enter here? I1 is equal to how much? I1 prime again plus V2 minus or sorry, minus V2 upon this current is minus V2 upon 1, right? And what is I1 prime? What is I1 prime in this case? When the first node is shorted, first port is shorted, you can find it from here, right? It's actually equal to 3 V2 prime, right? It's actually equal to 3 times V2 prime plus minus V2 upon 1. And what is V2 prime? V2 prime is already equal to V2, right? Because V2 prime is the voltage here, V2 is the voltage here, both are same, right? Same terminal, across the same terminal. Fine, fine. So, uh, this is, uh, how much is this? 3 minus 1 is 2. So, it is 2 V1. Sorry, 2 V2. So, that now your uh, Y12 is equal to V2 upon, sorry, I2 upon, I1 upon V2 when V1 equal to 0, which is actually equal to 2, 2 CMs. Correct. Similarly, you can find out what is y22. So that you can do it yourself. I am not going to do that here. Any doubt here? Any doubt in this question? So basically, in this question, you were given this uh, small network and you connected something here, something here outside of the network. And now you want to find out what is the overall networks. Uh, what is the overall network's uh, y parameters? Okay, so for that you do these kind of manipulations, small manipulations. You will get it.
all right so if there is no doubt here we will be, we'll be moving forward now okay again uh, this question is okay Hmm. See this question here. Now you want to find out what is the what is this voltage V naught due to V S and what is the transfer function V naught over V S. How will do that in this question? You have been given this Y Y network here and its Y parameters. Uh, this is some network here. You have been given the y parameters of this network. You have to find out what is the uh, well, what is the transfer function between v naught and v s, v s to v naught. So how to do that? So can you uh, notice something about this y parameters? This is something interesting, right? The y parameters is uh, the off diagonal entries are zero, correct? So what is y parameter relationship? V uh, so it is like i one is equal to v one times y one one plus v2 times y22 y2 sorry y12 similarly i2 is equal to v1 times y21 plus v2 times y22 so if your off diagonal entries are zero so this is what this is y12 this is y21 correct this is y11 this is y22 so if your y12 and y21 are zero basically this quantity is zero this quantity is also zero in that case the current and voltage across uh, 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 at the terminals depend only on the so the current here i1 will depend upon only, only upon only the uh, uh, voltage at that at that particular terminal port and the, similarly the current y2 will only depend upon the voltage across that port at that port right so it's just like a simple net, uh, simple resistor, right? This is the uh, this this Y matrix here. It's the Y parameters of a simple uh, resistor, two simple resistors. So it's it it will look something of this kind. So let's say this is uh, port one, okay? So here is a resistor in this in this way, and here is another resistor in this way. So this is two, this is two prime. So this is uh, what? This is one over two k, okay, and this is uh, one over ten k. So how much will this be? Five hundred ohms, and this will be a hundred ohms. Okay, this is how it is. So this network here, it can be understood like this. This is five hundred ohms. This is a hundred ohms. Okay. Or maybe I'll just put it inside here. Five hundred ohms. Six hundred ohms. All right. Now you have to find out what is the uh, voltage here. So I will do that. Now this is very easy, right? This network here. So this network here, it looks. If I redraw it, it will look something of this kind. So this is your B S. Sixty ohms. And this is hundred ohms. This is. And this is the voltage that we are interested in. This is 100 ohms. This is 500 ohms. This is 100 ohms again. Correct. This network we are interested in. So tell me what will be the situation here. Now it is very easy to solve. Simple network, right? So 300 ohm plus 100 ohm. These are in series, so it will become 400 ohms. 
which will come in parallel with 100 ohms so what will the equivalent uh, resistance be so it will be 400 into 100 right 400 into 100 upon 500 so this is uh, 80 ohms right so at this point we will have a 80 ohm resistance in series with another 500 which is 580 plus another series 60 so it will be 580 plus 60 which is 640 ohms so the current that will be passing here will be how much vs upon 640 ohms right this is the current i So IS is equal to 640 ohms. All right. And now we have to find out uh, what we have to find out what is this voltage V naught. So tell me what will it be? What will this this voltage be? VS upon 640 into how much? 80, right? So it is actually 8. So it is Vs upon 8, this voltage here, Vs upon 8. So what will this voltage be? V0, another resistive division, right? So V0 will be Vs by 8 into 300 by 400. It will be 3 by 4 into 8, so it is something like this. 3 Vs upon 32. Right, so what is V0 upon Vs? It is 3 upon 32. I hope this was clear. I mean, this is this I this is just trivial, right? This exercise is trivial. What I wanted you to appreciate was that just by looking at the Y matrix, Y parameter matrix. I was able to uh, detect it very easily. I mean, I, I simply saw the Y matrix here and I saw the off diagonal entries are zero. Okay. And I concluded that, okay, so in this case, this should only be two resistors like this. So this, make, this made the life very easy, right? This made the whole calculation very easy. So this you should be, uh, you should put a very close eye. You should keep a, uh, I mean, you should be uh, very observant of these things. You should always keep a close eye on these uh, small intricacies. This will make your life comfortable. Okay. So, is there any doubt in this question? All right. Moving on. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. In this circuit shown below, it is not below, it is above. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this circuit shown above here. Okay. We know that when the voltage V1 is 100 volts, this voltage when is it is 10 volts, the current I is 1 ampere. So this is 1 ampere when this is 10 volts. Okay, so when this is 10 volts, this current I is equal to 1 ampere. If the applied voltage at port 2 is 100 volts, the short circuit current flowing through port 1 will be how much? So can anybody, uh, can anyone please give me a hint here? So it is given here, it is a linear resistive network. How should I proceed? I know that when I apply voltage of 10 volts here, I get a current of 1 ampere, short circuit current 1 ampere. Now the question is, a uh, question that is being asked here is, is that if let's say I apply a voltage source here, okay, by the way, this is not there in that case. I apply a voltage here of 100 volts, then what is the current that is going to flow here? In that case, the volt, uh, the short circuit, this short circuit, okay. In that case, what is the current here?
Hmm. Okay, so let me do this. So, what is this relationship, by the way? V1, uh, you have applied a voltage at this uh, at the first terminal at the first port, and you are observing the current uh, leaving the second port. So, what is this relationship? So, it is uh, actually y parameters, right? So, you know y. Uh, what is this? Y1 equal to y1 1 times v1 plus y1 2 times v2. Similarly, i2 is equal to y21 times v1 plus y22 times v2. Okay. In this case, in the first scenario, you have short circuit to the second port, right? So v2 goes to zero. Okay. So now you have i1 equal to y11 times v1. And here it is i2 equal to y21 times v1, right? And you are saying this 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 current here is i this current here is i minus of i2 right because i2 we take in this direction i1 we take in this direction so this is minus i2 correct so what is minus i2 minus i2 is actually equal to minus y21 up into v1 is equal to 1 amperes right so what is v2 y21 this 1 ampere upon v1 is equal to 10 volts correct so this is your y21 y21 is 0.1 siemens okay now it is given that it is a linear resistive network so if it is a linear resistive network what did we all learn about it we saw that if it is a linear resistive network then it will be a reciprocal network right it is a reciprocal network if it is a resistive network if it is a linear resistor uh, if only linear resistors are present in this network then it's a reciprocal network in that case the parameters y12 and y21 they will be equal right so if you have the y parameters like this y11 y12 y21 and y22 then basically if it is a, if it is a reciprocal network then these two entries will be same right so in this case we have y12 equal to y21 when reciprocal when the uh, network is reciprocal correct so that is why from here from this relationship you can directly say that you have you already know what is y21 so what is y12 simply equal to y21 which is equal to 0.1 siemens correct and uh, you see uh, if you see the second part of this question says that if the applied voltage at port 2 is 100 volts, the short circuit current flowing through port 1 will be how much? So, second question actually asks you that only. So, basically, you want to find out what is I1, what is I1 upon V2, right? Then V1 is shorted. That is what you want to find out. You have applied a voltage V2 here, right? Port volt, voltage at port 2 is 100 volts. You want to find out what is the current through port 1 so that you want to find out I1 when the uh, short circuit current so that uh, it this v1 voltage is equal to zero the port one is actually short circuited so this is actually how much this is actually equal to 0 0.1 only correct or oh, minus 0 0.1 by the way this is minus 0 0.1 series okay so tell me what is I1 in that case, I1 is equal to minus 0 0.1 Siemens into V2 when V1 equal to 0 and what is V2? V2 equal to 100 volts, right? So this is actually equal to minus 10 amperes, right? So, if it is a minus sign uh, in the current, that means the current direction is not this one, but slight, uh, but the reverse, right? The current is 10 ampere, which is going to flow in this direction, correct? So, this is actually a question which is illustrating the uh, the use of reciprocity. I hope it is understood by all of you. Fine, so I will move forward. I will move it forward now.
Hmm. So I said that in in general, if a network contains only resistors, only linear resistors, then the network is reciprocal. However, if the network contains certain uh, this thing, certain uh, some 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 control sources, you cannot you will not be able to comment about its reciprocity straight away. Left, you can make it reciprocal. You can uh, also make it uh, uh, not non-reciprocal. Uh, that 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 depends. Okay, that depends upon the network. You cannot just make a general statement after that. So in this condition, in this case also, we have two uh, control sources, right? And even with these control sources present, the circuit can be made reciprocal, right? I mean, th this is what we have. We know in the presence of a uh, in the presence of control sources also, we can make the circuit reciprocal. Now we want to find out how we can make the circuit reciprocal. So in this case also, if we choose this parameter a here. Then for certain a certain certain values of a, this network here it might become a reciprocal network. We want to find out what are those uh, what will what will be the value of that a. So we can choose actually any value uh, any uh, parameters for these. I mean we can also go with y parameters. We can go for z parameters. All these are okay. Both of these are okay because if a network is reciprocal, then the Y parameter matrix and Z parameter matrix both are symmetric. So, for doing this analysis here, I will simply choose one of these. So, tell me what should I choose here? I will be choosing Z parameters, okay? I will be choosing Z parameters. So, let us choose Z, Z parameters. Let us choose. All right. So, tell me what is Z11? Is actually equal to V1 upon I1 when I2 equals to zero. So, tell me what will it be? So, this is already open circuited, no problem, right? So, the current here is anyway zero. So, what is uh, V1 upon I1? Yeah, come on. What is V1 upon I1? So it's actually equal to how much? Uh, what is V1 upon I1? <clears throat> so if you connect a current source here, then the current entry here is I1. The voltage drop across this is uh, I1 into 3 plus uh, AI1. Just write key will right. So we have this function v1 equal to so this is i1 and v1. So v1 v1 equals to how much? 0 0.5 v1 plus uh, i1 so 3 times i1 plus a times i1. Correct. This is v1. So from here I know that actually equal to V1 by 2 equal to 3 plus A times I1. So V1 upon I1 is equal to 2 into 3 plus A. So this is equal to 2 into 3 plus A. So this is Z11. Okay. So I have simply written KVL here inside in this loop. I have written KVL here. Okay, fine. So I found out what is the uh, Z11. Now tell me what is Z21. What is Z21? Z21 is B2 upon I1 when I2 equal to 0. So what is V2? V2 is this voltage, right? Voltage across this. So what is this? Actually, 2i1 plus a i1 2 into i1 plus a into a i1, I1 right this is 2 plus a times i1 so okay so v2 equal to 2 plus a times i1 that means v2 upon i1 is how much 
2 plus a so it's actually equal to 2 plus a right similarly tell me what is z12 z12 is v1 upon i2 when i1 equal I to zero. 0 right so now yes. you have open circuited this here but you have connected something here you have now connected a current source here like this i2 you want to find out what is v1 what is what is v1 here because of this current so tell me what will it be first of all the current here i2 will only pass through this right and nowhere else this current is zero right so this voltage is also zero so how much is the voltage drop v2 v2 equal to zero. two times two times i2 sir okay so i will just write it you can solve it on your own also so let's uh, I, I will be solving it you see if, if you see any discrepancy please tell me so here we have uh, how much here we can solve if you see this is i2 this is v2 so if you see this is v2 equal to how much v2 equals uh, i1 times 2 this is 2 i1 okay because a mm -hmm. times i1 will be 0 because i1 is 0 okay so there is no voltage drop in this so that is why it is 2 i1 v2 is 2 i1 now i will now be using kvl in this in this section here okay so v1 this is a voltage from here to here voltage gain right so this is a voltage between here to here is equal to how much it's equal to voltage in here right so what will that be so v1 equal to or so maybe I'll just go around this loop. V1 minus 0.5 V1. Okay. Plus yeah, minus uh, minus uh, V2 equals 0. So actually V1 by 2 equals V2. So that V1 equal to 2 V2 here. Two V2. Okay. And what is V2? V2 is equal to 2 I1. So it is actually equal to 4 I1 here. For uh, for I two here, sorry, it's I two. So that what do we we'll have? V one upon I two is equal to four. Four. Is equal to four. Is this point clear? Yes, yeah, sir. Z one two is four. Correct. Okay, sir. So. Z12 is 4. Now, for a, uh, for a reciprocal network, we wanted to find out how what should be the value of A such that the overall network is reciprocal. For a reciprocal network, we know that Z12 has to be equal to Z21. Correct. So, what is Z21 okay. here? 2 plus A. What is Z12? A. So, what is uh, Z12 is? Z12 is 4. And it is it should be equal to 2 plus A. From here, a should be equal to 2, right? Yes, sir. Correct? Yes, sir. Yeah, fine. So, any doubt in this? You see, in general, a network which is mm, which contains control sources, it might not be reciprocal, okay? It can be, it cannot be, it may, it may not be reciprocal. So, uh, so if, if, uh, you uh, if, if you want to make a if you want to understand whether it is reciprocal or not you'll have to see you have to check the network so here we uh, we were specifically told to make this network reciprocal by changing some things so in general if a network contains uh, control sources it can be made reciprocal by doing some tweaking here and there that is what is done here i hope this is clear to you yes sir all right Hmm. Okay, here you want to find out what is the Z in here. You want to find out what is Z in the net, uh, the impedance which is looking this side. What is the impedance looking this side? What is Z in? 
okay so okay. how do you find z in in general so by by the way so when you look that uh, when you want to find out z in here what do you do sir so looking this side you want to find out right so you do not care what is this uh, what is here okay you do not actually care what is going to be present here you only want to check what is the you apply a volt, uh, test current source here okay so for for z in what do you do is in this case you have to first consider only you have to remove these two here okay you have to consider only this network here you have to uh, apply a current source here let's say this is i in okay and you have to find out the voltage v in here this is port 1 this is port 1 prime and uh, this in this like this only you know the y parameters of this network 4 minus 0.1 50 and 1 okay you apply a voltage current source here and then you want to find then the z in is equal to what this actually equal to v in upon i in this is what z in is so how will you find it out so clearly logic says that uh, in this case uh, y parameters are given but you want to find out ultimately the z uh, z in value so if no one knows nothing so if no one knows anything logically the first thing that i should do is i should convert this y parameter matrix into z, z parameter, parameter matrix. matrix right because ultimately i want to find out something uh, some kind of impedance only z in is what some kind of impedance i want to give some current source i want to find out what is the voltage that is going to generate so let's do that what is the relation between uh, y parameter and z parameters matrix z is equal to y inverse y right it's inverse of this this exists when the system is i mean the, clearly here it is invertible right because you see that the uh, the, the that the that that its determinant is not equal to zero so clearly in this case the uh, inverse exists so when the inverse exists then z parameter is always equal to inverse of y parameters this is always the case so in this case what is the inverse of y tell me so it is actually more uh, determinant of y right yes, into sir. Co-factors of Y matrix. Uh, adjoint matrix, right? That you will get. So what will be the adjoint matrix? One, one, zero point one and minus minus fifty. Correct. Yes. And what is determinant of Y? Four plus five, right? Yes. It's nine. All right. By the way, this is milli, right? This is milli. So, yeah, it is milli. So it is nine, correct? And everywhere, instead of milli, we will have one k, one k, one k, and four k. Everywhere we will have kilo instead of milli now. So this is this. So we have ultimately the z matrix is. Uh, 1 over 9 multipl uh, multiplied by all the entries of the matrix, which is 1k, or maybe I will bring the k outside. This is 1000 over 9 multiplied by 1, 0.1, 50 and 4 minus 50 and 4. This is the z parameter matrix. Okay. Sir. Okay. Now with this information, let me redraw the circuit that I have. So I have this is I in. i know the z parameter matrix here i have this so 1 kilo thing here this is i this is i2 
this is i1 this is a port this is v1 this is v2 this is i in okay and v1 is actually equal to v in here so this is v in which is actually equal to v1 here in the set parameters matrix i know is actually equal to 1 0.1 minus 50 and 4 is actually equal to 1 upon 9 1 k upon 9 you want to one k upon 9 and 50 k upon 9 4 k upon 9 yes now can we do it now it is easy right now it is very easy so i know the terminal relationship between i1 i2 and v1 and v2 what is that i know that from the z parameter matrix i know v1 equal to what v1 should be equal to i1 mm. times z11 mm. plus i2 times z22 mm. z sorry z12 21 similarly v2 one. equal to what i 1 times z21 plus i2 times z22 correct Yes, now sir. already i know that v2 equal to from this resistor relationship i know that v2 equal to how much minus of so from this v2 equals to minus of 1k into i2 right so i'll put yes, that sir. here right i'll put this information here so v2 equals to minus 1k into i2 this is equal to i1 times z21 Plus I two times Z two two. Correct. Yes. And uh, what will this be? So from here, uh, so from here I will take I I two. Uh, I will I will find out I two in terms of I one. Okay. So I two equals to what? I two equals to I one into Z two one divided by Z two two minus Z two two minus plus one k. This is what I two is in terms of I one. Now I'll put this back here. So what is V one? V one is actually equal to V in, right? And what is I one? I one is actually equal to I in. So I one is actually equal to I in times Z one one plus I two is equal to what minus I one I one is equal to I in times Z two one divided by Z two two plus one k into Z one two. This is what I have from here. Now let's do this. So what is what is V in upon I in in this case? It is Z one one plus or minus rather. Minus Z two one Z one two divided by Z two two plus one k. So this is the uh, impedance Z in. Okay, and Z one one Z two one Z one two and Z two two you already know from here, so that's not a problem. we can put this back here and then you can uh, calculate it easily so is that understood is that clear what i did here so the r2 is equal to can, minus uh, i1 dot z21 so i cannot hear you because so i cannot hear you so maybe you can put it in the comment section hello hello anyway if you have uh, Uh, don't no need to worries because I will any maybe posting these uh, on the YouTube so you can go back and refer it again. All right, problem number seven. So in this question, what do we have?
Okay, so we, we need to find out what is V1 and V2. How do we do that? Again, the same thing, okay? This network has a uh, bi parameter relationship, but uh, mm, <clears throat> in this case, will be if we convert it into Z parameters, it will be much more easier, okay? So maybe this you can try it yourself because this and the last questions are almost the same. So this you should try yourself. You convert it into Z parameters and then write the same relationship that we wrote. You will be able to find it out. It is easy actually. All right, so let's move on. Yeah, in this case, you have some Y parameters here. Okay, you have got a two port uh, Y parameters. Now you know the Y parameters. You want to find it what is what is V2 by V1. Okay, so how will you do that? Here do not you do not need to change it into uh, what into Z parameters. You can play with Y parameters only. That is actually more beneficial. So let's try this actually. Sorry. So let's say this is one one prime. This is I one, and this is I two. Two and two prime, and here we have a Z L, and this is plus V two plus V one. Okay, we know the Y parameters here. So this is y11, y12, y21, y22. So what is the relationship? I1 is equal to y11 times v1 plus y12 times v2. What is i2? i2 is y21 times v1 plus y22 times v2 is these are the uh, this is the relationship that we know but now using this terminal characteristic of zl we can clearly see that there is a direct relationship here directly we can find out so what is z2 uh, what is v2 it is equal to minus of i2 times zl right so from here uh, I'll, I will eliminate I2, right? I2 is equal to minus V2 upon ZL. Now let's put it here. So what will I get? So when I put this here, so what will I get? I will actually get uh, minus V2 upon ZL is equal to, or maybe I will just write it again. Okay. Just from here I get I, I2 is equal to minus V2 upon ZL should be equal to Y21 into V1 plus Y22 into V2 and uh, maybe I can just replace Find one in terms of another. Okay, so what is this? <clears throat> what is this? This is a uh, V2 goes in the left hand side. So this is V2 common minus uh, 1 over ZL plus Y22. Okay is equal to y21 into v1 
Okay, so B2 upon B1 is equal to how much? Minus of Y21 divided by Y22 plus 1 over ZL. So we got Y2, V2 upon V1. You see? I mean, the, all these things, all with this, with all these questions, I just want to motivate how to how to solve problems when you have when you are given two port network parameters. So, for solving for solving any any network, if if this two port network is given to you, all you need to know is its param its uh, y h z or g parameters, whatever. So you can say anything about the network. You can do all kinds of calculation on the network. On the based on the terminal characteristic of the network. All right. Yeah, it's again the same kind of question, so you can do it. So let's go to the last question. And oh, that's not good. Sorry, I think I think it doesn't refresh properly. Okay. Sorry, I think it didn't refresh properly. Oh yeah, I refreshed. Okay, so I hope this is visible. It is not. Uh, okay, so so basically, in this question, we are told uh, we are given that uh, you see in the first the, this the, this network here is the same. Okay, both at both places, this network is the same. So what is given is. In the first case, you have applied a voltage source, 5 volt voltage source at the first port and, and, and observe what is the current that is leaving the port. It is actually equal to 2 milliamperes here. Okay. Now, in the second case, you have applied a 6 milliampere current source to the first network, short circuit current source to the first network, uh, uh, sorry, to the first port and you are trying to find out what is the voltage here. So, how will you do that? Yeah, so you see that the uh, the port, uh, the two port network is reciprocal, right? The two port network is reciprocal. So, what is this, by the way? When you apply a five volts voltage source and you find out the short circuit current at the other port. So, what is this? So it is actually uh, this condition here. Uh, you apply apply here. Uh, so what is Y parameters by the way? You apply some voltage somewhere, and you want to want you calculate what is the short circuit current at the other port or at the uh, at at the various port. So in this case, this uh, two milliampere by five volt, two milliampere by five volts. This is case one. It's actually equal to y. What you apply application input is at the first port, and the output is at second port. So it is y21, right? It's y21. So this is y21. Y21 is equal to 2 2 milli by 5 volts. So it is actually equal to how much? 0 0.4 milli Siemens, right? And this will actually be equal to how much? This is since this is a two port reciprocal network, this will be equal to Y12, right? And what is Y12? <coughs> what is Y12? Y12 is basically what 
it is it is what this is y12 is when you apply a voltage at the uh, this thing when you apply a voltage here of uh, some voltage v, v in and you find out what is the short circuit current here right oh by the way this 2 milliampere current is moving out of the port so it is minus 2 milliampere so it's really minus 0.4 here okay it's minus 0.4 millisecond here okay now in this case what do we have we have a current source which is pushing current here right the current source is given and you want to find out what is the short open circuit voltage so what is this v not upon 6 milliamperes will be equal to what is actually z parameters right so which which z parameter am i talking about here input is at the first port output is at second port this is actually equal to z again 2 1 right so what will it be uh yeah arvind so is this is this the doubt minus why is the minus sign here is this a doubt for you arvind so i i cannot hear you could you please like uh, write on the sign set you yeah yeah actually I, i i uh, yeah so this is a negative sign here all right so i i took into account that anyway so uh, yeah so i was saying something yeah so basically you want to find out because you have given a voltage voltage source here okay and and you know what is the current here so now tell me what is i mean because of this current source what is going to be the voltage at the second port so how will you find it out actually any idea so maybe you should think about it all of you should think about it this is a good question so i will uh, i'll definitely ask you this one the next time this is actually a good question so there is a catch here so i want you to look at it first okay so anyway the time is also 5:35 okay maybe you should uh, i mean uh, so definitely look at this question and i will i will talk about it next time definitely i want you to first try it out once okay hmm all right so maybe we'll uh, we'll just end the session today at this and uh, we'll meet again in the next session on saturday okay oh, okay thanks thanks for joining Thank you very much